Public transport isn't the only place that you're at risk. I want to show you how extremely contagious the flu virus is. Look at how many people are touching the same surface. And just imagine for a moment how many people have already touched it and how many more will. You can catch the flu in a lift, at work, in the kitchen, even at the movies. Any place where a lot of people are passing through. The flu is a highly contagious disease. It's spread by people coughing and sneezing or by contaminated surfaces. When you catch the flu, you can feel awful for days, like you've been hit by a truck with a fever. You just can't get out of bed. But even more concerning is that you can pass it on to vulnerable people, to little babies, to pregnant women, to people with chronic medical conditions, and also to the elderly. Public transport is the perfect flu and cold incubator. Look at how many people are touching the same surface and think about how many more will have touched it before and after. All it takes is to come along, touch that surface, then touch their nose or later rub their eyes and the virus can be transmitted. When the flu virus gets into your body, it penetrates cells in your respiratory tract. Once there, the virus can replicate itself in one cell than many and it gets a foothold in your lungs so that when you sneeze or cough, the virus can exit your respiratory system, a great way to spread themselves around. The flu virus mutates regularly, and that's why we have to have a new vaccine every year. But it's also why the flu on average is much more severe than the common cold. So how do we stop the flu from spreading? And how do we protect ourselves? Sneeze or cough into a tissue or into your inner elbow. Avoid shaking people's hands and wash your own hands often. And if you are sick, stay at home. Studies have shown that the flu can survive for up to 15 minutes when transferred from tissues to hands, an hour or more in the air in enclosed environments, and more than eight hours on hard surfaces. The flu shot reduces flu-related hospitalization in children by up to three quarters, and over half in people over the age of 50. The flu vaccine provokes antibodies against the flu virus. You cannot catch the flu virus with a flu vaccine shot because there's no live virus in the vaccine itself. Vaccination is the best defense to stop contracting the virus. And that's why I get the flu shot every year. So to fight against the nasty influenza virus, you should have regular exercise, a healthy diet, practice good respiratory etiquette, but your best bet is to have an annual influenza shot.